If you have ever used Final Cut Pro sound effects library, you will know that there are a lot of drawbacks. For example, there is no favoriting system. So if there's a sound effect that you use a lot, you're gonna have to keep searching for it every single time you wanna use it. Not to mention, if you wanna add in your own custom sound effects to this folder, it is extremely unintuitive. Almost to the point where many people don't even realize you can add your own custom sound effects. And to top it all off, the search features are extremely bare bones. If you don't happen to know the exact name of a sound or maybe you have a typo, it can be really difficult to find what you're looking for. It was for all of these different reasons that I was on the search for a much better workflow for sound design and that is when I came across Soundly. After I paid for Soundly with my own money and tried it out for quite some time, I realized that Soundly was so integral to my workflow. And so I decided to reach out to the Soundly team and see if they'd be interested in maybe me making a video on the channel. Not only were they extremely excited about the thought of a video happening here on the channel, but they also offered extremely generously to sponsor this very video. And so I just wanted to give a huge thanks to the Soundly crew for being willing to support this channel so I can keep on paying my bills but also making it so I can show you an outstanding product. So what are some of the main advantages of Soundly over Final Cut Pro? Well, for one, there is a gigantic library of sound effects. To get to those sound effects, all you need to do is go on over to the left side, find your add-ons, and in here you'll see that there's this free collection. So we can download any of these collections and use them in our videos. Taking a look specifically at this option, free sound, it has over a hundred thousand different sound effects completely free for you to use. All you need to do is push add and then it will bring up this little window saying, hey, do you want to use just the CC0 version, meaning that you don't need to give any sort of credit for the sound effect inside of your videos. I recommend that you just select add free sound CC0. This just ensures that you're not accidentally using anything copyright. And now that we've added that, we'll have access to that entire library at any time. Plus we can go in and Add in these store samples, the free firearm library, the sunset library, free to use sounds. And if you have any of your sound effects up on Google Drive or Dropbox, you can load those in as well. Plus, if you're in the market for even more sound effects, you can come on over here and see all of these different categories. So we could buy a bunch of whoosh packs or we could go in and find user interface packs. So you can purchase these and use them at any time inside of your videos. But that is not even the best part. Yes, these are all incredible packs. Yes, there's amazing free bundles, but there's actually a gigantic 100,000 sound bundle that comes with Soundly Pro. To get access to it, you'll just go on up to the top left, go to sounds, and you'll see these Soundly collections. Clicking in here, you'll see this nicely organized set of sounds that you can use at any time. Let's say that I want some sound effects for my horror film. I can just click on there, and now we can see all of these different horror elements. And that's sounding pretty nice to me. So now that you have these hundreds of thousands of different sounds floating around in the cloud, you need a super easy way to search through them. And that is where Soundly has another huge advantage. The search tools are so powerful. At any time, I can come up here to the search window. Let's just say I wanna look up some transitions. So I'll just type in transition. And just like that, we have loaded in 4,008 results. You can see here on the left side that these all have the cloud symbol next to them, indicating that these are online. I have not downloaded any of these sound effects yet, but if I wanna preview them, I can go ahead and just select one, and I'm immediately previewing these. So that's super cool, but let's say that every time I search for transitions, I find myself using the same sound effects over and over again, and maybe I wanna change things up. Well, that's where this cool shuffle feature comes into play. If you go to the top right corner, you're gonna see this little shuffle button, and clicking on that, it's going to shuffle the search results, giving you different sounds every single time. So I can just keep on clicking that, and it's going to shuffle whatever is being shown here. But what if you really wanna make sure that you're not ever using the same sound effects? Well, you could come up to the options menu here for our search, and in here you can see we can get extremely granular with our searches. We can add in more filters, we can exclude words, but on top of that is this smart sort feature. And what that is going to do is it's going to sort the results based on export frequency by moving your less used sounds higher in the results list. So that just means you're less likely to find a sound you've used over and over again because those are gonna be at the bottom of the stack. So again, if you really wanna access more and more sounds 
sounds without using the same ones over and over again, this can be a really handy feature. So this is super cool in and of itself, but what if we want to have, say, another tab? Maybe we're working with both transition sounds, but we also want some fight sounds. Well, what we can do is click on this button to create a whole new tab. We could access any of our previously made collections, our starred, which is our favorites, or I could just type in fight and those will instantly search through finding 2,859 fight sounds. I could shuffle the order of this if I wanted to, and then at any time, I could just jump back over to the transitions just like that. But let's say that there is a specific sound that you use all of the time. You just absolutely love it and you wanna use it in every single video. Well, Soundly has a favoriting feature. If you just come on over to the left side, you can see there's this star, and now this specific sound has been favorited. At any time, I could create a new tab and go into my start, and now I can see that exact sound effect here at the very top. And then finally, if that was not enough organization, maybe you have specific clients who want specific types of sounds, you could build out a collection. To do that, let's go ahead and say I want these metal slices in a collection. I could go ahead and select them all, right click, and now we can go to add selected files to collection. Now we can create a new collection and just call it whatever we want. So I'll just call it the subscribe collection. Once we've done that, we can go over to the left side at any time to find our subscribe collection for really quick and easy access. So if those hundreds of thousands of sounds weren't enough for you with Soundly, you can also load in your own local sound effects. So if you're like me and you have hundreds of gigabytes of sounds that you use in your videos all the time and you want to quickly be able to search up those sounds, all you need to do is go over to the local folder here on the left side. You'll see that it says nothing here yet, we can go into Finder and just click and drag that sound effects folder in. Once we do that, it's going to ask if we want to upload our files to the private cloud. So if we have multiple computers using Soundly and we want to access the same sound effects across all of them, we could do that or we could just upload it locally. I'll drop that in here and we can have it monitor and automatically update the folder as new sounds are added in. So anytime I download a new sound effect and place it in that folder, Soundly is gonna automatically update and have that sound ready for me to use. So now that I've loaded in this folder, it's gonna quickly index all of the sound effects that I have downloaded. I have around 200 gigabytes of sounds, and you can see here that it is extremely quickly indexing about 74,000 different sound effects. And now that that has fully indexed, I have access to all of the sound effects that were already on my computer computer, they gain all the benefits that Soundly has to offer while still being local to my machine. So now we have an enormous library of sound effects, but we can make it even larger and that's by using the various effects that are built into Soundly. For one, we can speed up a sound or slow it down by using this slider and now it's playing back at 37% speed or we could speed it up and you'll notice how that actually changes the tone of the sound. Additionally, we can come over here to the side and we can actually reverse the sound by clicking on this icon or pushing Command R. We can normalize the sound, so if we find some parts of the sound to be too quiet and others to be too loud, it's gonna go ahead and bring those levels in. And then on top of all that, we can go ahead and place the sound. So I'll click this icon and there's this place it feature. So let's say I wanna make it sound like this slice is happening in a room. You can see how that changes the dynamics of the sound. And they have a ton of presets you can play around with. And then at the very end, you could shape the sound by coming over here to the far right and clicking here. And that's gonna give you kind of a channel EQ option. So we could raise up in the mid tones or lower it down. You can add many different points and you'll see how it's all nicely colored. It's just very Apple-esque in the way it looks. It's very minimalist and clean, but it gets all of the information across that you might need. So now we've made all of these changes to our sound effect and we wanna bring it into the video editing software of our choice, which for me is obviously Final Cut Pro. To get this sound over into Final Cut Pro, all I need to do is click and drag over the portion of the sound that I want. So I've done that, I can click and drag, and now that's gonna hide soundly, and I can just drop this on the timeline. So this specific sound is going to receive all of the changes that we applied over in Soundly. But what's really cool about this is many sounds have multiple sound effects happening inside of them. So for example, if I was in Soundly and I looked up punch sounds, and you'll see with this specific punch sound that I have a bunch of different options, I could click through, find the one that I like, I like this middle one, so I'll just click and drag over that specific part, click and drag, and boom, now it's over in Final Cut Pro. 
So what would using Soundly look like in practice for your average day of editing? Well, taking a look at this video, let's say I wanna add in some sound design elements for this cool transition and happening at the beginning. To me, this looks like something that should have some gear sound effects happening to it. So let's go ahead and dive into Soundly. I'm just gonna look up gears. There's a whole bunch of different options. I can see that these are local. I could even shuffle them up if I wanted to and just see what is out there. And let's say that I want just the beginning of this specific gear cranks machine for, I can just click and drag over the portion I want. Then we can click and drag that file over into Final Cut Pro and that will drop it in. I also wanna have a nice transition sound going with that. So let's go ahead and go to our transitions tab here. Maybe I could look up Whoosh Soft if I have a specific one in mind. We can see all of these different options. Oh, I really like this last one. So I'll click and drag over that part and we'll bring that into Final Cut Pro. And maybe for good measure, I'll have one last slow whoosh. That one's sounding pretty good. And I'm gonna go ahead and select it and push Command A to get all of the audio. And we'll just drag that in. Let's go ahead and take a look at how they sound. That looks really good to me. Let's go ahead and fade this off just a little bit. We could drop the volume with Control minus in Final Cut Pro and I'll right click and assign the audio roll of effects. So now they're all color coordinated. So that is how you could add in some sound effects using Soundly with Final Cut Pro, but there is one other step you could take to make Soundly even easier to use with Final Cut Pro. To do that, I'll open Soundly. And if you take a look at this icon right next to my profile, I can go to dock mode and you'll see that that has shrunk everything down. So I still have access to all my sounds, the search and the sound waveforms here on the right side. We can add any of the effects we want, but we can also see Final Cut Pro here at the top and I can even shorten this down a little bit so that now Soundly and Final Cut Pro are in the same window. I can very easily access everything I might need while still seeing my timeline happening for Final Cut Pro. And finally, the last tool I wanna to show off with Soundly is it's really cool AI voices. We'll go over here to voices and I'm gonna go ahead and expand this out from its dock mode. Let's say that we want to have an airport announcer saying something in our video. Maybe somebody's walking through an airport and this just kind of plays in the background. They have one by default that we can test out. Flight SK84 to Robot Dystopia is departing in 10 minutes from gate 10. So that one's done by default, but we can have this voice say anything we want. Like and subscribe to the Final Cut Bro. And then from there, we can go ahead and change what this voice sounds like. We could have an angry person on the phone, which I actually just recently used in a video. Like and subscribe to the Final Cut Bro. Plus we can adjust where the sound is coming from using that cool place it feature. So right now it's coming from a phone speaker. We could go ahead and have it come over a PA system at a museum. Like and subscribe to the Final Cut so there's just an enormous level of power with this specific feature. It's great for adding in that background sound effect for your videos, and it's just super easy to add over into Final Cut Pro by clicking, dragging, and you're done. So this is an extremely shallow look at everything that Soundly has to offer. I highly, highly recommend that all editors pick this up. There is an amazing free version that comes with so many of the features that I showed in this video, but when you wanna take your video editing to the next level, that's where you can get Soundly Pro. As a thank you for watching this video, the Soundly team was kind enough to hook you up with three free months of Soundly Pro. And by the way, this does not require a credit card, so you do not need to worry about it auto-charging you in three months if you happen to forget. Huge thank you to the Soundly team for sponsoring this video, and with that being said, Said, thank you so much for watching this video and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.